It's a special prime time edition of the NFL. We'll see Kenny Pickett and the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. Oh, the cold weather certainly helping set the stage for what should be a physical primetime contest at Pittsburgh's Acrisure Stadium. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the New England Patriots and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Nick Folk ready to put this one in the air. And we are underway from Pittsburgh. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. Pick it now on first down. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. Second and 10, it's Pickett again. The throw taken in by Sims. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. to throw, holding of the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're going to pick up a holding call. Now pick it. And that would off the mark behind him. Incomplete. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. The deep to return it is Marcus Jones. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Patriots take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They're led by the quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. Miles Jack there to make the tackle. The run got four, now they deal with a second and six. Jones throw here, taken in by Gesicki. Only able to gain a couple there. And now it's third and three. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Throwing Jones. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Olszewski now to return. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the Steelers will go on offense here first and ten. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say this is what the problem is. 
Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and make the offense a little bit Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> A first carry for Najee Harris. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Try him with Pickett here on third down. That'll be taken in there by Miles Boyd. And he will have a Steelers first down, and he was able to get it by play. A gain of eight on third and three. To the air on first down with Pickett. He gets it complete to Harris. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Now a second down and six. Pickett back to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 37. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. They'll throw again with Pickett. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Pickett, he'll look to throw it. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. From the gun, here's Pickett. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. So Pickett is off to the sideline, and Chris Boswell is on for the Steeler field goal try. Boswell's kick is good. And the Steelers will jump out to the freeze hit lead. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both these teams, I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've got to probe the little bit. Now you want to the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. The Pats at the line ready to go. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. Get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Second and ten. Jones. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. for the all-pro Kelsey is complete and he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Well, I think when they look at their offense they think to themselves weapons weapons everywhere and they want to move the ball around they want to spread it to different people but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well and that's what they just did on that play. Stevenson now on first and 10 and he'll bring this one inside the 35. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Again, it's Stevenson. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense Understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Jones will sneak it. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. 
They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. On second down. Stevenson. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. The game that time, 13 yards to reset him first and 10. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Pats have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you've got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Nick Folk for the point after. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one, and they'll start at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Meanwhile, Pickens throw into the hands of Pickens. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely. No matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. Pickett's throw there, complete to Sims. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. On second down, this is Harris. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Pickett will look to throw it here. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. And instead, it's fourth down. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. He might be being set up here for a busy ball game already. Two kicks here in the first quarter, and he's knocked both through the post. And for now, you know they'll be happy getting those three points. But what they really want is to find a way for him to kick extra points instead of field goals. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. 
There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. And down he'll go at the 25. 43 yards on the ground for him so far. Give to the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he gets this up past the 30. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they've put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Meanwhile, Jones throw here complete to Kelsey. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. A lot of tight ends just use their side and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And he's going to take this ahead right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The 20. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry, and it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, here's Stevenson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, Running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them. They've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. And that's one way you take away a first down as a defender. Make sure you have a little bit of physical play when the ball gets to the receiver. Find a way to jostle it free. They caught him off guard, forced the incompletion. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Gesicki. Touchdown, Patriots. Mike Gesicki, 32 yards. As his guys are able to extend their lead. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. On for the extra point is Folk. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14 to 6. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it all concluded with a touchdown pass to the tight end, Mike Gesicki. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And Sims says, let's bring it out to the 25. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They've been settling quite a bit. They've been able to move the football some, but they've just been settling. That's one of the reasons they're down on the scoreboard. I love that word you picked, settling, because nowadays in, in this NFL, you're thinking touchdown almost every drive because everything's so high-powered. Yeah, you'll take the field goal, but you always feel like you're leaving points out there when you don't put it in the end zone. They'll be trying to put it in the end zone here on this drive. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result could be something you don't like. 
give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They run once more with Stevenson, and he'll get this to the 22. So they began the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. And able to work his way down to the 16. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. After one, 14 seconds, our score on EA Sports. New England on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and three. Now Jones. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Third and four, he did just enough, and I mean just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described, and he was able to do just that. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. And a lot of being a defender is being able to learn what you can and can't get away with winning man coverage. In this case, he got away with it and helped pop that ball free. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Folks, kick is good. And that will extend their lead here to 17-6. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Pickett leads his Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their 25-yard line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw, and that's incomplete safety valve all game so he went back to him when his first read was covered just unable to connect so the play results in no game following the incomplete pass here they go again second and ten from the 25 back to throw pick it and he goes down patriot sack lawrence guy credit him with a sack and it goes as a loss of six now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. Able to find his man. It's Pickens. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Off play action, Pickett. Finding Pickens for another catch. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Then their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Meanwhile, Pickens throw complete there to Johnson. 
And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 29-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. The last run got a couple. here, second and eight. They run the play fake. Here's Pickett. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. More than one defender there, and that's a lot to five on the sack. Well, this offense has already been forced to settle for field goals on their drives earlier, so this is not a welcome sign here. Indeed, it is not, and they certainly hope it's not a sign for the entire game because they know they've got to be able to sustain drives all the way through, pick up those guys rushing the quarterback, and give himself a chance. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And he missed it. It's no good. And they will remain two scores down as the difference holds at 11. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. High throw, but the catch is made. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Well, normally, you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a bit. a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And the Steelers are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. He's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Matt Judon. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Pick it. And man, it's Pickens. A gain of eight there on the play. And they'll be facing a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. That's complete to his tight end, Fryer Muth. And he gets this only to the 41. Not near enough for the first. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it'll be fourth down. On his Presley Harvin now as he'll send this one away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. Tackle made there by Chris Wormley. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Stevenson gets it again on second down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Back-to-back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yards. They're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. New England on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and eight. Back to throw. Jones. Checking this down to Stevenson. 
And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Going deep here for Parker. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Looking to throw, Jones. And throw right, and now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And his guys are gonna take over at their own 48-yard line. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it, and not realizing the danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. On second and nine. Pick it. Open man. That's the tight end fryer roof. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. He gets it left side to Johnson. And they'll work this down inside the 30. the give this is Harris might have gotten this one down to 28 and that's all just a yard on the first down carry so it's second and nine now here's another carry for Harris a short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes the passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Boswell's kick is good. Trailing here in the first half still, but maybe, Charles, that'll help them get some momentum back. First, the fourth fumble, and then they're able to get a field goal out of it. And down in the game, they came out and created their own opportunity on one side of the ball and did get points out of it, as you mentioned. Complimentary football right there as they try and bring this one back to even. And now out come the Patriots. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive? A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown, but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. To throw again. Jones. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Henry. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And we hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. 
A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And this one is incomplete. Over the dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That's allowed them to disrupt the play. On third down, he'll drop the throw. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. They'll get 34 yards there. Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now a handoff. Stevenson. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. They go play action here on first down. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him. And I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. So that drive in total eight plays, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And not willing to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Pick it to throw on first down. Quick completion here to Johnson. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. First and 10, here's Pickett. Setting up the screen, Harris. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 more yards that go around. First down as well. Pick it. He's going to throw it again. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Sims. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter.
So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good. And they're hanging around. problems at all on that one and, and you know there's virtually no win this is a kicker's dream here tonight it absolutely is isn't it so to me with no wind it should be a passer's dream as well yeah. right but in this case the defense held out they had to force the field goal and not wanting to risk anything here late in the half he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25 The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we come upon halftime in what's a 12-point game at the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Well, the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. And despite the turnovers, Charles, and, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. On the handoff, Stevenson gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Oh, batted at the line and intercepted. It's picked by the linebacker, T.J. Watt. And the Steelers are going to take possession of the football. On first and ten, it's Pickett. And he's got his big wide receiver complete. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped and that can turn into either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They'll 
keep it on the ground. Harris again. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Looking to throw, pick it. It's brought in by Harris. Touchdown! Najee Harris from eight yards out. And the Steelers have got it back to within a score. Extra point put through by Boswell. And this is back to a five-point game. A drive there of just four plays. And it was finished off by a Najee Harris touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. New England trying to get a place on offense. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 26. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Cameron Hayward getting upfield to make the stop. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. On second and 12, Jones. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That'll put him right at 99 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Here's Stevenson. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. 124 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Now a play fake here on first down. Going deep here for Parker. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Offense is moving it a little bit. Had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try it out a stand before they're backed up even further. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. So they'll get the yardage on the run and get 15 more for good measure. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult to spot. You heard the sideline erupting, and the flags came out almost immediately. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete, and he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Well, Coach has always talked about finding balance on offense. I'll be give more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looks pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch though. Brought down at the 20. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because 
you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was all capped on the touchdown run by Ty Montgomery. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one, and they'll start at the 25. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line and they hold him to just a yard on second down this is Harris and down to the 44 five yards that time getting had a ton of success here so far but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one yeah even on that one there was a little bit of a hole but it closed there quickly at the end flushed out right and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down the defense setting him back on the sack. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. New England's offense set to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Now the terrible towels in full force now as the Steelers get set to defend this third and long. Open man right side, Myers. And he's out right at the 25. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Back to throw, Jones. Open man is Myers. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Now it's Stevenson. And he's dropped right at the 40. 
Gain of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Oh, and Jones has just thrown his third interception. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And the Steelers are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Now a give running left is Harris. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They run again with Harris. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. So the completion results there in nine yards, and that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Here's Pickett. Dancing to his left. Looking left side, it's complete. Out of bounds in the red zone, just inside the 20. Now, I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Again, it's Harris, but he will go backwards as he stopped for a loss. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Pick it now, third and goal. And oh, my goodness, what a catch at the six. A great job to hold him to just a yard there. Now it's fourth and goal. Okay, so thought they might go for it here down late. Instead, they trot out the field goal unit. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Boswell's kick is good. And the lead is back down to nine now. Well, the three points certainly helps, but... And you feel like, Charles, at this stage of the game, when you force those turnovers, you need to start converting them into touchdowns. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised myself because I thought in this situation, they were thinking end zone or bust. Now they got to rely on their defense to get the ball back again for another opportunity to get six points. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. So the Patriots coming out now. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Yeah, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. 143 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. 
Now Jones throwing on first down. And his throw is incomplete. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. To throw on second and ten. Jones complete. Hunter Henry with a grab. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Again, it's Stevenson. And it'll follow its blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. They'll run with Montgomery. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use – the back end of the end zone, the sidelines is extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Once more, Montgomery. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Ty Montgomery with his second touchdown of the night. And the Patriots have extended their lead to 15 now here in the fourth. A 15-point game now. You make the extra point, and that means on the other side you need two touchdowns and two two-point conversions. That's a pretty tall order here. Montgomery hit, and the ball is loose. And it's picked up by the Steelers. Well, that two-point attempt failed due to the fumble, but... Uh... People who can't see this, but you've got, you got a ball in your hands now, and you've got a thing locked in pretty well. You've got it covered up. I love having a football in the booth. I always hang on to it. It makes me feel like I actually played back in my day. Well, you probably could have. If you had won that play, you would not have fumbled, I can tell you that. Maybe. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big truck now because, as you know, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger jumps. We'll see if they can get the score. And he finds Pickens over the middle. Fourth quarter, every drive is so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Pick it now on first down. Here's Fryer Muth again. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Now, yes, the two possessions. 
possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. And he's going to get this down near the 25. To the air on first down with Pickett. Being chased out left. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. Can keep them out of that area. time and end up putting a little too much heat on it don't you think partner absolutely just needed a touch more air under it instead he fired an absolute bullet throwing on third down here's Pickett over the middle complete it Sims and he's got another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Patriots 14 here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line from the red zone now they'll look to throw and he's left with no option here but to throw it away. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so he just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. He finds his tight end, Gentry. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. The 40. The 20. 10. 5. And he takes this one into the end zone and the Patriot defense has a touchdown. So a fourth quarter pick six here and that one might put this game out of reach, CD. I certainly agree with that, partner. And I know one thing, though. That team that just got the pick six, they're going to keep playing until this one's over. Better be careful. They're looking to get another one. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And Sims says, let's bring it out to the 25. The Steeler offense set to regain possession. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. Pickett leads his Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their 25-yard line. After the pick six, here's Pickett to try again. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Sims. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. From the gun, here's Pickett. And that's complete. It's Sims. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Pick it. Back to throw. A throw left side. Caught by the tight end, Flyer Muth. And he will have a Steelers first down. And he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Now pick it. Buying time to his left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Forced out to his left, and he'll just get rid of it. 
This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. He's got his tight end, Friermuth, right side. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have four. It's caught inside the 25. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Najee Harris, his second touchdown. And the Steelers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Pickett will try to throw for this. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing Jones. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. To throw again on second down. Jones. And he finds Montgomery complete. And he's going to be taken down. But there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold or did they rough the quarterback? They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. Now Jones. His pass caught at the four. And that's good for a pickup of 10. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now this is Kelsey, a tight end carry. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Travis Kelsey taking it in from two yards out. And the Patriots have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. I think it's easy to say mission accomplished on that drive. The goal was to increase the lead. They did exactly that. Now Folk for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one, and they'll start at the 25. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. From the gun on third down, pick it. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. He 
he's going to let it fly. And that's caught inside the 35. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Dialing up another pass here. Pick it. Caught along the sideline by Fryer Booth. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Pick it now from the gun here. Steps away. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Pick it in the Steelers in need of a big play here. Third and long after the sack. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Pick it, fourth down, desperation time. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again. And this is home. Oh goodness he pulled it in one-handed and he's going to be taken down plus there's a penalty flag in the backfield they may get 15 more on top of this well trailing here in the fourth quarter and that personal foul that only adds to the hole that they're currently standing in yeah absolutely a bad job of just losing your cool and letting your anger take over Takes like that not and he'll take it into the end zone for a patriot touchdown touchdown run and the Patriots up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter well partner when a team's up this big this late in the game I always wonder what's their motivation because if it's me I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit but for them I don't think it's in their DNA it's not in their head coaches makeup at all I think his opinion is you stop us we're not supposed to pull back ourselves Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Here's Steven Sims on the return from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. The Pets are going to get there. Down he goes. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. Pickett and the Steelers in need of a big play here. Third and long after the sack. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. The Steelers send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And a fair catch is taken here, a step or two inside the 45-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. And as is to be expected, this is nowhere near being good from that distance. But that's just a minor blip here in what's been a thoroughly dominating performance. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. It certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory.
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say good night from Pittsburgh. <laughs>